What's up gamers? Welcome to Flush's All the Mod 8 Essentials. I'm assuming you guys are tired of vanilla or just want more things to do in Minecraft. If you guys want to know what All the Mods 8 is about, this guy Alfred GGMC has made an amazing trailer for the mod pack. Way better than any I can come up with. So I am playing a preview of it in the background. I encourage you guys to check that out. The link to the video will be in the description. Well fellow gamers, in about 5 minutes, I will be taking you from nothing to launching the game and then finally walking in all the mods sake. First things first gamers, we are going to have to download the Curse Forge Launcher. So let's go ahead and type in Curse Forge Launcher in the Google search bar. And then land on the download page for Curse Forge, which is curseforge.com slash download slash app. This link will also be in the description if you want a shortcut. Personally, I'm going to click download standalone as I do not want overwalk with it. From here, let's go ahead and go to our downloads folder and launch the installer. We are going to click next on the first page that pops up. On the second page, it is going to ask us where we want the installation folder to be. And for me personally, I have a games folder, so I'm going to change the destination there. But the default will do just fine. So let's go ahead and check mark the box that says that we have read and accepted the terms and privacy policy and then we're gonna go ahead and click next bam we have successfully installed curse forge we are now greeted with the welcome page and from here i'm going to skip the intro just a note fellow gamers that the curse forge launcher should be on your desktop by default but if it isn't go to the installation folder and go ahead and create a desktop shortcut so let's go ahead and click on minecraft and we're going to be using the standard recommended to set up Curse Forge's Minecraft modding folder. And then click continue. From here, we can go ahead and search for the mod pack we want to install. All the mods 8. Let's go ahead and click install when we find all the mods 8. After the installation is finished, the cancel button should be replaced with a play button here. But before we hit play, let's go ahead and put in at least 8 gigs of RAM into the game through the settings. So we're gonna click on the gear icon on the bottom left here and click on Minecraft under game specifics. Now that we are into the game specific settings for our Minecraft game, let's go ahead and scroll down and under Java settings, we can use the slider to allocate memory. By default, it is 496 megabytes. I personally don't know if that's enough to run all the mods 8 without any issues, but I do believe that 8 gigabytes should be enough which is 8192 megabytes. All that's left to do is click on the X button on the top right, and then let's go ahead and click play. The Minecraft launcher should have popped up. If it has not, check your taskbar and click on the grass block icon. It should ask us to log in into our Microsoft account. After logging into your Microsoft or Mojang account, we should be greeted with the Minecraft launcher. And if you click play one last time, the game is finally going to launch. Let's go ahead and understand the risk and click play. All the mods 8 is a pretty big mod pack, so give it about 5 to 10 minutes to launch for the first time, but I promise it is worth it. After about 5 minutes, I finally managed to get into the menu. This time will vary PC to PC, so now let's see if we are truly in all the mods 8. Let's go ahead and click single player. This process is also going to take a little bit, so just be patient fellow gamers. And check that out. After not even a minute, we are in the create new world menu. So let's go ahead and create it. One last time, we have to be patient as the game generates us a new world. After a little bit of waiting, we are in. If we pull up our inventory, we can see just enough item on our right here. And to the top left, we can click on the quest book that will confirm that we are in all the mods 8. Congratulations fellow gamers. Welcome to the world of modded Minecraft. You guys should check out my next few videos on tips on how to progress in this crazy mod pack. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you gamers in the next video.